Hi everyone, so a late top five Wednesday here. So we are picking fantasy or sci-fi creatures. I almost thought I didn't have anything for this one. So here we have the Mock Turtle from Alice in Wonderland. So I don't remember a whole lot about the book. I know I enjoyed it. It's just been a little while since I've read it. But the Mock Turtle is something that we don't see, you know, in the animated movie. Um, he sort of tells us, I guess, tragic tale of, you know, how he used to be a real turtle. And just the way you read it kind of sounds like that. But, uh, yeah, he looks kind of cool. I mean, we have a turtle with the head. I think it's supposed to be a rabbit. So now he is a mock turtle. Coming in at number four, we have the Tracker Jackers. So the Tracker Jackers are put into the arena, um... To basically go after the tributes and everything and they are genetically enhanced like bees or wasps or whatever you want to call them so the basic point is that they have this like venom that can make you hallucinate and eventually kill you if enough gets into you and it like triggers the part of your brain that like has fear also, they're pretty much designed to uh, go after anyone that disturbs their nest. So, they are very deadly and um, obviously very intelligent bees. Next up at number three is Tok from the Phantom Tollbooth. I picked him because he's a cute little doggy, or a big doggy in this case, and he has a clock in him. I don't know why. I like clocks for some reason. But, um, yeah, so when he goes to the toll booth, he meets Tok. And Tok, they thought he was going to tick because his brother. Or no, he was supposed to talk. It was something about his brother was supposed to tick, but he talked. And so they thought he was going to tick and all this other stuff. Um, I'd have to read up on it again, but it, it was kind of silly. But it, it, but it is a children's book. And so, yeah, you have the to you have Talk, the dog that ticks. And then at number two, we have the house elf. And of course, here we have a dubby. And basically, the house elves are kind of like slaves, basically. They are to serve a... <coughs> a wizard family basically for the rest of their lives the only way that they could be freed is to be presented with clothes I mean just look at them look how sad they look poor little Dobby I mean could you imagine that ugh, living in a magical world and still having to have all that bull crap yep and then finally at number one, I have a two, two basically, which is the Mockingjay and the Jabberjay. Why I put them together is because it took the Jabberjay to make the Mockingjay. So basically the Jabberjays were sent out by the capital and they were genetically enhanced, <coughs> genetically enhanced birds basically that were able to mimic entire human conversations. So basically, what had happened is that people fed them misinformation and it, it didn't work out for the capital. You know, it was one of those uh, things, those weapons that just didn't work out for them. And so they were released, re released into the wild and made it with female uh, mockingbirds. And so you have the 